guys, it's Brian here in the Live Life Simple freeze drying room and today we're gonna go over how to change the oil in the Premier vacuum pump from Harvest Right. If you're newer to freeze drying, you're probably getting ready to do your first oil change in the Premier pump. Uh, this is supposed to have an oil change every 20 to 25 batches, but that gets you a whole lot of freeze drying before you have to make that initial first oil change. So today I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna alleviate all of your fears and we're just gonna get right into this. So some of you may not know, there's actually been a couple different versions of this Premier pump. This is actually the first version. Uh, it's a little bit different. The, uh, the dimensions are a little bit different. There's a few little things here and there. I'll put some pictures up as I'm talking and kind of show you the difference. The sight glass is a little different. This version is a little bit bigger all around. A few little cosmetic things here and there. The handle is a little bit different. The demister looks uh, a little bit different and then part of the plastics and things are just a, a little bit different. But the way you change the oil is all gonna be the same. Everything else is gonna be the same. So step one is you're gonna wanna do this when the oil is warm. So the best time to do this is after your freeze drying cycle when this has been running for 20 to 30 hours and that oil is nice and uh, thin. You're gonna be able to, set. it's gonna be able to separate all of that oil and other gunk that gets caught up in the bottom of the pump that will flow a lot easier out you can do it when it's cold it's just not gonna get a hundred percent or it's gonna it's not gonna get as much as that junk out of the bottom of the oil and you can see that my hose is disconnected you don't need to do that mine's just disconnected uh, so I can pull it out and show you this uh, kind of out on its own if you've purchased your premier pump from harvest right uh, recently then they will give you one of these pitcher filters this makes the process a hundred times easier um, but what you're gonna want to do I like to have a ledge because your oil is gonna come out right under this little uh, turn knob right here so you can either take this top part off of the pitcher or you can just lift up your little thing right here we're just gonna turn this to the left it's about a quarter of a turn and you can see oil is already flowing out the, the thing that you're gonna notice about the Premier Pump is the oil stays, it doesn't really look dirty. Um, it, it stays really, really clear. That's the beauty of the Premier Pump. It does so much, so much better of a job than the other pump does of keeping water separated and keeping gunk out of that oil. And then while we're waiting for this oil flow to slow down, we're gonna unscrew this demister up here. And then just be careful when you're screwing this off because sometimes there is oil that kind of collects up in there and it wants to come out. So while we have this sitting here, you wanna check this O-ring and just make sure that that is still in good shape. It should be good because it's lubricated all the time with oil. This canister can also get full of oil and just other stuff, so it can be cleaned out. And to do that, we just need to separate this inner green part away from this black cover. You can do it by pinching two of these points right here and pulling out. Sometimes it's kind of difficult, so what I have found is easier is doing this when it's attached to the machine still. Pinch two of those spots and then you're just gonna lift up. And while this is off, I wanna show you something. Um, on this version, there is a little ball, it looks like a little BB almost, that sits in this pocket. You can pull this pin out and you can actually get rid of that ball. You can uh, put like a paper towel wad or a toilet paper wad, some kind of thicker material you can push that down in there put your pin back in that's gonna help a lot with uh, your machine fogging next thing that needs to happen is we need to separate this filter that's inside of this green can uh, there's a couple different variations of this mine is actually just a Phillips screw that holds it in because it has a rubber flap. Uh, some do not have this rubber flap from what I've seen. And you can see mine is pretty caked with oil, so it's, it's time to clean it for sure. So another thing that will vary between these is uh, how you get this away. This, I'm, I'm just gonna stick a big standard screwdriver in there, and then you just twist it. Okay, so then you have your fiber filter just like this. In order to clean this, just run it under hot water and just hot water for a while. You can even soak it if you want to. Uh, maybe just a little bit of dish soap or some light, light cleaner. But before this goes back in and put back all together and back on the pump, just make sure it's totally dry. 
So usually this will fully drain in about one or two minutes at the most. It's either gonna completely stop or slow down quite a bit. When it gets to that point, I like to just tilt it forward. It's gonna get the rest of that gunk out. It's gonna get the rest of the oil out. You wanna get as much of that out of there as you can. All right, so once that's dry, we're just gonna turn this a quarter turn back to close. That's gonna cut off all the oil again. You should be good at this point. And before we put any oil back into this, you're gonna wanna check your ballast selector. You want that to be on the open position. That ballast is what makes this Premier pump so efficient and uh, do such a great job of filtering the oil. So if you've never changed the oil before, most likely your pump came with a bottle that looks like this or like this from Harvest Right. These are both uh, totally fine to change the oil with. Um, I prefer to use Robinair. It's premium, the premium uh, high vacuum pump oil. This can be had in lots and lots of places. This will last you a long time. I, I buy three quarts at a time and it lasts forever it seems like, uh, especially if you're filtering the oil. The great thing about this harvest rate filter is it's gonna filter your oil, you can reuse it. It's gonna come out clear again, it's gonna keep all those contaminants, water, all the extra junk that's in there, it's gonna keep it up here. These filters in here are replaceable, so when it comes time to uh, get those changed when this oil is no longer clear, you can change those out as well. Uh, we're gonna put some fresh oil in today. Uh, what comes in really handy is a funnel for this just to keep the mess where you want it to. While you're filling this up, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on the sight glass. And what we're looking for on here is we want our oil to go somewhere in between minimum and maximum. I like to go in the dead center because when you get this pump started, a lot of people notice that their oil level goes way up because when this pump is running, that sight glass is no longer uh, relevant because it's not actually showing the, the true reading for the oil because it's moving around inside of it. Once that oil starts to become visible in the sight glass, I kind of take a break because this oil is thick. It's gonna take a second to uh, see how it jumped up right there even after I stopped pouring it. It takes a second for it to actually reach that sight glass. So I think right where it's at, we're totally good. I'm gonna stop right there. So now we've drained the oil, we're filtering the oil, and we've put new oil back in. Now the only thing that's left is to put this demister back on. Do be careful, this threaded part right here, on this first generation, this is metal. On the second generation, I believe they're plastic. So you don't wanna, you don't wanna uh, strip those threads out. So I like, to, I like to spin it backwards a couple times. So it sets those threads to where they're supposed to be. You're gonna feel it catch and then you can turn it forward. And just hand tight on that. And that's about it. Uh, your oil is gonna be done in, in probably less than 24 hours. Make sure you take a second to subscribe to Live Life Simple if you have not already. Also make sure you give us a thumbs up if you found this video helpful. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40, reminding you to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.